Hey Johnny, it's your stepdad here checking in and I've got a couple of stories for you. Mom raised five kids by herself. My mom did. She had five, two boys, a girl, and then two boys, and I was the last one. I was the youngest, so I had all my older siblings in the house. Well, mom would have to go to work uh, and then come home and fix dinner, and she'd get us on the way in the morning and all that stuff. Well, for that reason or because she knew it was good, she tried to teach us how to do housework. Now, my mom was raised on a farm, so they were called chores. What chores do you have to do? You may have a bunch, and you may not have anything that's expected of you, depending on your household situation, depending on how you're being raised. But I'm going to invite you to give something a test. I created this little chart, and it's very similar to the one that my mom made. She would have the days of the week across the top. She would actually have our names down here, and then she would put the jobs we had to do through the week. And then every week it would rotate, so we didn't have the same jobs every week. In your case, or at least in this case, I've just made it up as though you're the only one that has to do it. <laughs> and you can fill in the things that are most appropriate for you here. But as a little boy, or I guess I wasn't that little, I was old enough to do dishes and whatever else, I would go check the chart. When I'd come home from school, I'd check the chart and see what I was supposed to do. Well, every day we had things like make your bed and um, do your homework when we were in school. We had those things that we were supposed to do every day. But there were other jobs that rotated among us, like doing the dishes was split into thirds. Someone was assigned to clear the table, someone was assigned to wash the dishes, and someone was assigned to rinse and dry the dishes. And uh, washing the dishes was the one that really stunk. Now, you can watch the video, and I'll put a link here to the video that I did on how to wash the dishes. When it was our turn to do the washing, oh, I hated that, because that was always the one that was the most work. And so someone would, we'd have dinner, someone would clear the table, whoever was assigned that, and whoever had to wash the dishes had the biggest job to do. And then you'd rinse them. Well, whoever was on the rinse, they could actually go off and come back a little bit because you couldn't, they, they could keep up with you easier. So they could run off and play a game or watch TV or whatever, and then come back and get caught up. So it really stunk to have to do the washing when it came to the dishes. It was good for me and us to learn how to work, and that's the same reason it'll be good for you. I do these because I want you to learn things that you might not otherwise learn because you don't have a dad in your daily life. Well, learning how to do chores is a lesson that it took me a while to figure out. Now, it's not that I like to work all the time, but I do like to have a clean home. I do like to be in good shape physically, so exercise is one thing. I didn't actually put that on here, but you could even potentially put that on your chores chart. Uh, there's benefits from knowing how to work and disciplining yourself that will help you feel better about yourself. And deep down inside, you know that that's the right thing to do. So let me give you a little nudge to try doing that. So download this chart. Here's some examples on the bottom. These may or may not apply to you, so pick the ones that apply and write them over here. I put three over here to start with. One was uh, make your bed every day. You're going to feel better about yourself. Your whole day is going to go better if you get up and make your bed. Uh, do your homework. If you're in school and you got homework, then do your homework. That's the next thing. Do it every day. It's easier to do it and keep up than get behind and try to catch up. And then the last thing I put in here was clean your room every week. Every week go through your room and clean it up. You can watch the video on how to clean your garage. <laughs> the principles apply to cleaning up your bedroom as well. And you may not have to go, if you're doing it every week, it's just cleaning up, it's just straightening up. It's not a deep clean. But a good deep clean is a good thing too. Let me share with you one last story. I, I didn't like to do work. I mean, I, I would rather watch TV, play games, hang out with friends when I was growing up. It's no different than probably how you are now. Well, I was staying with my grandma once. She lived on a farm. She had not a huge lawn. It wasn't that big that needed to be mowed. Well, I wanted to go fishing. I mean, the canyon was four miles away. She would take me fishing, but I had to mow the lawn first. I mean, I, I tried to avoid it. I didn't want to. I mean, it was work. 
I don't even think I had to bag it there because we were just mulching it. So it wasn't like I gathered it and dumped the grass, I don't think. Um, and I tried avoiding it. I, I, was, I was complaining. I was moaning. I was grumpy because I had to mow the lawn. Well, my cousins lived in that town, too. And one of my older cousins came by after I'd been out mowing the lawn with a grumpy face and avoiding it for, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. And he, uh, you know, I saw him come, and I stopped the mower. He says, what's wrong? Because he could tell I wasn't happy. And I said, Grandma says i got to mow the lawn. I don't want to mow the lawn. And he, he said something like, well, what's your problem? And he grabbed the mower, fired it up, went around the yard. In probably five minutes, he was done. Now, I'd already done maybe half of it, but it would have taken me 40 minutes to do the half that I'd done. And he was done with the rest in five. And as I watched him, I realized a light went on inside of me. I'd spent more energy avoiding the work than it took to do the work. I was making it a lot worse than it had to be because I didn't want to do it. And I was trying to avoid it, and I was thinking it was more painful to have to do it. And once it was done, I could have had... I, let's say it took me 20 minutes to mow the lawn. I was 45 minutes into it because I was grumpy, moaning, going slowly, and trying to avoid it. In half that time, I could have been done, and I probably could have got my grandma to take me up to Canyon and go fishing. I could have been fishing, which I love doing, instead of moping around trying to avoid work. Here's what I invite you to do. I encourage you to do. Download this sheet. Fill it out. Print it at least two, because this is good for one week. And then when you fill in what you're going to do, Check it off when you do it, every day. Put this somewhere where you're going to see it. Tape it to your bathroom mirror if you need to, or maybe in your bedroom mirror if you've got a bedroom mirror. Put it somewhere where you're going to see it. And then check it off when you do it. Whatever it is you have in your situation, put those chores in here, and then fill out your chore chart, and go do it. I want you to do it for two weeks, at least two weeks, all right? You're going to surprise your mom. You might surprise some other people, too. You might surprise yourself, most of all because you're going to feel better about yourself when you do those things. And then when you relax, it's going to be easier to relax. You're going to enjoy it more. Do your chores chart. And always remember two things. You can succeed even though your dad may not be in your daily life. And number two, always remember your stepdad loves you. I will see you on the next video. That was a good speech. feels as good as a clean kitchen or a clean house. And that's why learning how to do chores is actually going to be good for you.